Yes, the wind is real. Usually cameras pick up the wind and make it sound louder than normal, but this time it's just about right. This is Calico Ghost Town, June 2023, and we are finally going to take a trip on the Calico and Odessa Railroad. My goal in 2019 was to make videos of all the miniature trains in Southern California. However, 2020 came around and a trip here had to wait. This video consists of the train ride, a quick look around the ghost town, and a look at the fortune tellers. While riding, be sure to click that like button, the share button, and that subscribe button. letter in calico and run your eyes down about 300 feet and a little to the right and you should see a mine entrance in the side of the mountain this is a tunnel for the silver king mine one of the richest and largest mines in the calico mining district it produced about 10 million dollars in silver in about 11 years there were about 30 miles of tunnels on 14 different levels inside that mountain several different mines however the only mine that is open daily for guests safely go into themselves is the Maggie Mine. 
Just below the Silver King, there appears to be just an ordinary pile of rocks. Actually, that is remnants of the Silver King mine itself. Not long ago, that pile of rocks was assayed to contain a few million in silver. But before you jump out of the train and climb the hill to fill your pockets, I should tell you that it would take millions more just to process that silver. So that would put you in the hole. Well, back to playing the lottery. Now, as we get moving, look out to the left. It wasn't too far from there that a man caught himself shot trying to jump my mining claim. I'd already warned that Mr. Tobler about trespassing on my Golgonda mine. And he ignored me and showed up again. This time he got grazed by a few bullets I set in his way for my little pistol. He called the law and had me arrested before I could unload my whole gun on him. The jury did not find me guilty as I was just protecting my property. Well, Annie, glad no one was seriously hurt except me or Mr. Tobler's pride. Now, we all look left. This is an ore crusher called a parasite. Miners would hitch a horse or mule to that crossbar and have it walk round and round, which caused the steel ball to drag over the crushed ore before it was taken to a processing mill. Of course, by the 1880s, this method was kind of old-fashioned, but it was still a respectable way of making sure every bit of silver was scraped in. We didn't want to get all that silver. Now have a look over to one of my down there is the Silver Valley, as we called it. And past that old dry lake is the sandy bend of the Mojave River. In those early years, drinking water for Calico had to be brought over from the river. The train was boat around at the time. This sold for about 20 cents a gallon. That water supply also gave birth to our neighboring town of Daggett. And the railroad was built right through there. See, just like the smaller narrow gauge locomotives, the big trains of those days ran off the steam. Another one of our neighboring towns was boring. It may no longer be visible, but when the boom ended here, some miners got jobs over there as borax miners for the Pacific Coast Borax Company. The Borax and Daggett Railroad was even built right up into Mule Canyon, making for a more efficient operation for the company. It became the last place in California where the famous 20 mule teams were ever used. Now, if we all walk over to Main Street, here was in the same view we did. As we ventured into town, lives and relaxation. There are actually five buildings on Main Street that have been standing since the 1880s, and it was a bustle in place. Calico was a real town for about 20 years. We had a post office, a courtroom, newspapers, and a slew of stores. Not to mention quite a few saloons, I can promise you that. Luckily, we even had doctors, lawyers, and a justice of the peace. My favorite place was the town hall. We had deals, all kinds of entertainment. Those were dandy, huh? Now as we get closer to the train depot, take a look down into the gully to the left of the train. These ruins are from the Chinatown, where almost 40 Chinese lived in the building Calico during the middle years. Amy did laundry for the miners and operated a couple of restaurants. Well folks, we hope you had fun and maybe even learned a few things on our tour today. Please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Be sure to grab all your gear, like purses, hats, There's stairs everywhere. This wind sounds terrible, but it is June in the desert, and it would have been super hot if it was a still day, so I am thankful for the wind. 
here are the flagpoles it's a bust of Walter Knott at the bottom and under that is a time capsule that should be opened in about 20 years Okay, that's a silver bowl. Lucy Bell. Yeah, and we're coming in this house. John and Lucy Lane. and stamp a unique design in that bin right here for you. Go ahead, pick out your design. I did. Totally new. Like cheesy ranch baked pasta. Today is lucky you day. Food for Here is medicine man for mine. Listen closely. It is better to keep mouth shut and be thought fool than open mouth and prove you are fool. Is true, young friend. It's much better to say little than to say too much and regret it later. Stay close and keep money coming. I'll share more wisdom of the ages. You seek wisdom? Thank you. 
thanks for viewing. Be sure to check out my other train videos and comment below and click that like button, the share button, that subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon. Didn't have any water.